There isn't a shoe which allows for more movement than a hurache. How? Simple. The place these shoes do restrict movement are the places your foot doesn't need to move. They attach between your big and second toe and the middle of the foot on either side with three lines connecting each point. They're very simple and they provide benefits that most other shoes do not. Feedback. Horates let you feel the ground while protecting you from hot asphalt and sharp rocks, metal, and glass. Durability. Running shoe companies recommend replacing running shoes every 250 miles. Horaches, however, can be built to last thousands and only get better as you use them, right up until you wear completely through the rubber, which will take longer and longer as your running form changes to produce less friction. And since they last so long, I don't have to save them for just running in. Imagine not having to switch footwear as you change your activity. I can run and camp and hike and go to the beach, all in my favorite pair of shoes. I'm just waiting until I figure out how to use them in bike shoes. Weight. Horaches are the lightest shoe. I wear a size 14 and this one is only 120 grams. Fit. The laces are very adjustable and the soles are thin enough to shape them to your liking. I trim and adjust the soles of every pair I buy to fit my foot perfectly. And now I can't help but notice how every other pair of shoes seems like the wrong shape for everyone's feet. So if you want those advantages, you'll buy or make a pair of Horaches but they won't fit your foot right away. The main problem with adjusting Horaches is that because they involve a system of only tension to hold themselves in a stable position, any single adjustment affects every other adjustment. Pull one strap tighter and it affects the tension of the others. So it's really hard to tell which adjustment to perform. So how do you adjust them to fit your foot? Adjustment. So I'm Anya from Anya's Reviews, and I have a website that's all about barefoot shoes, how to find them, how to find the ones that fit you, how to transition to them. In my reviews that I've done of Racha style sandals, that's exactly what I say. Start at the toe post, get that to be the right tension so it's not cutting into your skin, but it's also not so loose that your foot can slide forward and then you go to the heel and then you go back around to the other side instead of just focusing on the back strap make sure that the tension on the top strap is good and the back and the opposite side all of those things are going to impact the fit of the shoe so it takes a little bit of time you might find yourself fiddling with them especially on that first run or that first wear i often stop and pause and i start <laughs> adjusting things but once you find that sweet spot then you usually can just do the back take them on and off with the back strap and that usually works pretty well for me but I also yep. agree with you on the point that if you have good running and walking form then the fit of the sandal bothers you less because you're landing evenly and you're picking up evenly I like to make adjustments in the order the sandals are put together, starting from the toe plug. Unlatch and loosen all the straps. Place your foot on the sole exactly where you want it to be. Line your heel with the middle of the sandal and as far forward before the toe plug becomes uncomfortable when you pull it back. Now tighten the first strap around your foot until when you pull it to the middle of your foot it can reach the center and be tight. Then attach the heel strap until it's snug, and then pull the top strap with the inside strap until there is even tension on all three straps. You can test the fit by seeing how much movement there is in each direction when they hang on your foot. I like about one centimeter of movement, front to back, side to side, and twisting back and forth. If you can pull it more to one side than the other, you'll have to adjust the laces until the place you want your foot to be is in the middle of the range of movement on the sandal. It shouldn't feel tight and it shouldn't flip or flop when you walk. It should stay around and underneath your foot while on uneven terrain. Different designs on different sandals will adjust differently, but the main theory remains. Each strap only becomes taut when your foot is pushing against it. Loosening the tension lets your foot slide more against the pull of the strap. Tightening limits how far your foot goes in that direction. With a standard Horace, there are three straps, so that's six different directions. 
The main interesting lesson from this is that when you have a problem on your Huarache, it would seem like the solution would be to fix where the problem is, but the real answer is usually on the opposite side. And the most common problem people experience, myself included, is that the strap doesn't stay around their heel. A Huarache isn't like a normal shoe. There isn't any material to keep the strap up around your ankle, so it has to maintain proper tension in order not to fall down. If you can't get it to work no matter what you try, these power straps, available on Shama's website but also probably easy to DIY, will often fix the problem. It might seem counterintuitive, but the strap works like a lever to keep the sandal close when your foot pushes up. The other common problem is that the toe plug can be too tight between your toes. Again, since it's a system of tension, the way to allow forward movement is to move to the opposite side of the shoe, Loosen the heel strap bit by bit until the shoe isn't pulling your foot forward. And lastly, for a perfect fit, I would recommend trimming your sandals to closely fit your foot. When you buy a pair of huaraches, the shape is designed to fit many different shapes of feet. And lots of us are used to having shoes have extra material in places. But the only sole you actually need is right under your footprint. And the better you get at using huaraches, the less extra stuff you'll want on your shoe. Just take a little off at a time, and when your foot wears down the surface, you'll know for sure which parts aren't necessary. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. I can't promise I'll only ever talk about huaraches, but I can promise that each video I make will cover something at least as important to me as huaraches.